is going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be looking at my rather at this point extensive collection of subs. I have a bunch here and I think we're at about 30, if not a few more, so let's check them out. Quick guys, if you could please like this video for the YouTube algorithm, it really helps me out more than you know. Just a little teeny, this little teeny tap, you know, a little teeny smash on that like button really can help me out guys, so thank you so, so much. All right, now I'm not sure what uh, order I'm uploading on my videos, but I guess we can start with these guys. Uh, by the time you see this video, I think these guys will already be blown up, but I'm filming this before I do that. So anyway, yeah, we've got these fellas right, right here. These are the cheapest DS1812s that I could find, at least at the time of this video. These are the DS18 SLCs, so should you want to get some of these little budget bangers over here, there will be links in the description in of this video to everything in this video, so go check those out should you want to, but let's see what else we got. Also, a quick sneak peek of something else that we just got back, so stay tuned for that. All right, uh, first of all, the stuff over here, I have not made a video on this yet, but Kicker sent me this. Uh, VL7R little base combo package over here. So excited to be making a video on this guy soon. This will be the first square sub on the channel. It is a 10 inch. And then I'm sure a lot of y'all saw this video of the two just regular comp R tins in this box as well. Really, really cool to have both of these guys. This kind of throws me back to my early days doing audio with some of these awesome kicker setups. Over here we have the American Base HD. This is the V1 of at least this model. They did have some HDs before this, but this is the V1 when it had the uh, black basket. This guy retails for, I think, close to $300 now, if not right at $300. Absolutely awesome sub. Y'all know American Base is one of my favorite just all around for that more budget end stuff. And I've absolutely loved this guy. Okay, over here we have a CT Sounds Meso little 6.5 fella over here. Now CT Sounds actually sent me two of these. And then I ended up damaging this one, so I had to buy another one. This is a really, really cool little fella. Big old beefy six and a half inch sub. Next up, we've got the Sundial Next V3. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did a raffle with this guy. And Peter, the guy who won it has not gotten back to me. I have messaged him multiple times and he is not sending me his address. So if he does not get back soon, guys, I'm gonna have to re-pick somebody. So maybe by the time this goes live, might have already done that, not sure. But Peter, if you're watching and if you uh, send in 10 bucks for the raffle, message me back so I can get this out to you. Over here, another one of my favorite subs. This is the Death Bonts Apocalypse 30R series sub. Just a beautiful, big old sub. Got that beautiful three inch black coil in there. Of course, the Sundown has a big old black coil in there too, as does the uh, American base over here. So awesome, awesome sub. Now I may be raffling this guy off here as well here in the near future. So stay tuned for that as well. These two are two of my most expensive subs over here. This guy retails for over 500. I think it was like 520 or something like that. And of course, this guy retails for, I think, six twenty or something like that. So, kind of crazy. Never in my life did I think I'd be getting subs this expensive. But y'all have been really good to me, and y'all are allowing me to do this stuff. And I love making these videos for y'all, so thank y'all so much. Okay, over here we have the Mega Berries HD V2. This has the blue basket as opposed to the black basket on the V1. And it has a uh, red spider, which looks really nice. And it does have a little bit different coating on the coil. You can see we have the black coating. You can see through some of it. Whereas on this guy, it's got more of a matte black coating. So just a little bit different, but overall, very, very impressive sub as well, guys. Again, if you're wanting uh, some big base on a budget, these American base subs have you covered. So this might make for a good giveaway sub here uh, coming up first of the year. Stay tuned for that. Not sure. Got a ton of subs I'm going to go over in this video that I think I'm going to end up giving away. Okay, let's get into some Black Brick subs. First of all, we've got the Great 8 over here. 
Very, very cool little uh, eight inch sub. This guy is awesome. I've absolutely loved getting the chance to check out some of Black Brick stuff. Really, really cool. Kind of seeing a up and coming company and really getting to get their stuff just firsthand as it's coming out. Super blessed for that. But uh, yeah, this is a great eight. Thinking I want to do a giveaway with this guy here for too long as well. And then guys, over here we have the heavy hitter. Now at the time, this thing was like a $200 sub when I got it. And for that amount, it was just an absolute budget banger. I do think they're up to like $250 now or something like that. Everything is counting on crazy with pricing just over everything out there but regardless anything black brick i've been overall pretty happy with all right now over here this sub has the biggest voice coil out of any of the subs here this is the black brick brick house a little bit dusty but this thing has a massive massive motor and it has a monstrous four inch uh coil in there y'all take a look at that thing this thing takes some power like nobody's business. Just a big old beautiful sub. Over here, got a couple more subs that I kind of almost forgot I even had. They were in boxes under there, and I was going through all my boxes to see what I had and didn't have, and these guys were lying in there. So let's see what we got over here. We got this Dead Game sub. This is the uh, Storm 12. This is their more budget entry-level sub. Very, very cool. Again, I really forgot I had that. It had been sitting back there in the back for so long. And then over here, really, really cool. A little more on the quality end of things. We have a Dayton Audio. This is the uh, Max X series. I've been saving this, planning I might do a home audio system with it or something like that. That's why I'm hanging on to it. Not 100% sure, but yeah, this guy is great. For my garage setup over here, we have the Dyer Audio KH501 sitting over here want to give g2 dynamics a huge huge shout out for uh, sending this to me along with a, a dire audio i've had it in here for my uh, shop system for close to a year now and it's been doing great Let's see how many subs we've covered so far we've got six in there that is seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Y'all, that is crazy. Up to 20 subs already. That's pretty ridiculous. I need to be giving some of these fellas away here ASAP. Okay, over here we have the last Black Brick sub that I have, I believe. This is the Mosquito 10, which I am um, very much so on purpose blue just for fun. This is the most entry sub that they have at the moment. So, good times with that. Okay, over here we have the massive, I think this is the Hippo XL. Yep, Hippo XL. Y'all, this is from my early, early days in car audio. I spent like 300 bucks on this thing, was super excited, and then I ended up blowing it before I could even make a review on it. So, huge, huge bummer, but just part of doing what I do, I suppose. Okay, and then over here we have the G2 Dynamics. This is the original Genesis 12-inch sub. Big old 300 ounce motor on this guy. Another cool sub in the uh, fleet. Super dusty. Just been sitting over here as sort of a uh, prop. Okay, more recent sub over here. We've got this CP1200 sub sitting over here. Y'all saw the video on this again. This was really, really recent. Y'all seem to like it pretty much. This is like a $330 sub. All right, over here, guys, we've got the six Dead Game Huracan V2s. These are some of my all-time favorite subs over here. Of course, I had those in the Sequoia. Had a mounted regular for the Sundown Show. And then I had the mounted inverted for the Ruckus and Chill Show. Gave out tons and tons of demos with these things. Y'all, these things have an incredible coil. They did great have loved, loved these dead games. Probably going to hang on for these for a little while in case there's any uh, shows in the spring or early summer. I am planning to change it up for the Sundown Show and the Ruckus Show, but not 100% sure yet. Oh, I also do plan to possibly go to Slamology as well. So we'll just see if we can get all that worked out. But yeah, guys, these are the dead game subs. These things retail for close to like 400 bucks or so, I want to say. 
and I do have six of them. So that is a hunk of change sitting right there. Y'all, if you guys want to be wealthy, probably don't buy a bunch of subs. Probably not the way to go. This stuff will ruin you. I don't know if I've really ever showed this, but several years ago, somebody actually gave me this sub. This is an, an uh, ancient, ancient sub over here. This is a Punch XLC, 400 watts max power. A little 10 inch guy over here. Ah, oh, it says B stock. Anyway, I've heard these are really rare, somewhat sought after subs, not exactly sure. Doesn't need a new uh, surround as you can see. The surround on it was all peely and crumbly, so I had peeled it off and cleaned it off. I was gonna put a new surround on it, but then just uh, never got around to it. Okay, now we can't forget the little sub that kind of got my channel started. This is the Rockville K9 sub. This has been just my little sub for my Subaru. And uh, y'all, I guess it was like 2018 or, yeah, I guess it was 2017, 2018, I don't remember. Years ago when I got this thing. And again, I don't turn it up, I don't do nothing crazy with it, but she's still rocking. Okay, so I think we were at 20 subs over there, so let's continue the count. Got 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. That's crazy, guys. We are not done. I still have over $1,000 worth of subs that I've not shown yet, so let's get into those. Okay, over here, my latest review, I believe, except for, of course, those. Uh, we have the Black Brick BB3 V2 with this beautiful reinforced carbon fiber dust cap and a cone. Oh, this sub is awesome. And y'all, it loves this box. It sounds so good just over the frequencies. This guy is incredible. Check out that big old, big old beefy motor sitting in there. This guy, I think, retails for... Oh, I want to say uh, 350 right now. But if you use my discount code pound with Parker, you will get a pretty hefty discount on that. I know at the time of me filming this, it's 25%. Not sure if it'll be that when you go to check out or not when you watch this video. But hey, it's worth a shot. You'll at least get uh, something off. All right, save the best for last. This is the most expensive sub I've had on this channel by a long shot. And I just got it back from sundown just today. So let's check it out. That's right, guys. We have the Sundown ZV6 back in the house. Now, I want to give a couple people a huge, huge shout out for making this possible. First of all, I want to give Ryan Connors over on the uh, Base Heads on a Budget Facebook page a huge, huge shout out. He put up a post of my video when I um, blew it and I made the video showing me blowing it. And he just put up a post of it on there. It ended up getting a ton of comments, and uh, JP over at Down for Sound actually commented on it, and he said he respected my honesty in the video with this thing, and he said he would pay to get it fixed. And then Dave, who works over at Sundown, who builds all the bigger subs, he said he would uh, take care of actually doing the labor to get it fixed. So between all three of them guys, we have a fully functioning back to uh, OEM spec ZV6 sitting over here. Also, Dave ran the TS parameters on this guy. You cannot find the TS parameters anywhere because they just hadn't posted them anywhere, but he went ahead and ran them. So if anybody is wondering what the TS parameters are on a ZV6 with the uh, D1 version, there they are. Anyway, guys, really, really cool. Get y'all a nice look up at this. Monstrous of a sub and monstrously expensive of a sub. I am... Cannot believe this guy is sitting here right now, guys. This thing is just ridiculous. Check out that big old coil. This motor on this guy is just ridiculous. We got this back. We're going to have a really awesome box for it and a really, really cool video on that coming up here soon. All right, guys. Well, if I counted right, that brings me to 33 subs. That is ridiculous. I need to be giving away several of these guys here soon. Got to clear up some room in the workshop for more stuff coming in. So, again, we'll be clearing out some of these guys. Again, doing giveaways over on my Facebook page. will be a link for that in the description below. Uh, below. That's where I do all my giveaways. 
just way easier doing them through Facebook than it is trying to do them through YouTube. So again, go check that out if you want to stay tuned for the giveaways and for the uh, raffles we're going to do on the channel as well. Like I said, family, that is crazy. I'm going to put the total up here to what the value for all these guys comes up to. Let me know what you think. Again, absolutely blown away that I get to do this for y'all. I love, love making these videos. Love testing all this stuff out. Love blowing up some of these subs. And I really, really love giving stuff back to the community as well, guys. So thank you all so, so much. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of my sub collection. What are some subs I'm absolutely missing? And what are some subs y'all wish you had in your collection? Let me know. Well, guys, that's my collection. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming out here soon. But remember, as always... Keep basing on.